Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the channel. Another beautiful day in the neighborhood. Our beautiful, hazy, cloudy, weird weather that we're having this summer. It's, it's an oddity, for sure. They say Canadian wildfires. I don't know. I do know that my breathing has been affected. I have felt it. Couldn't figure out what it was for a day or two, but now I know. It is the wildfire. So, thank you to... Oh, I can't come this way. I've blocked myself in. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Actually, you know what? I can. I have a secret passage, a way to get past. Anyway, I want to thank our 163 subscribers. Greatly appreciate you all, each and every one. See, look. I have a secret way. Ha 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 ha. And then we just clip it right back. Isn't that handy? And then we can do this and fix it. So the chickens had a great time yesterday. Um, <clears throat> they were out and about in the in the midway over there, the alleyway between the two, between the, the, the big fence and my fence and the sheds. They had a wonderful, wonderful time. And uh, shoot, I forgot to put their water back in last night, but they have water, so they're good. They're good, but I was thinking about letting them peruse again today because they had such a good time. And this is this was my my makeshift gate that I put together for them, which worked out perfectly. Oh, looky there! Good morning, little spider friend. Ooh, man, I can't stand spiders. Of all the things in this world, spiders are the ones that get me. I don't know why. I didn't know why. I don't even, like, daddy long legs, they don't bother me. But spiders, like that little dude right there, mm-mm-mm. Don't like it. Don't like it a bit. Anyway, so we're looking for eggs today because I have a theory. And my theory is that when I let the chickens out to peruse the grass, they seem to lay more eggs. <laughs> because there was one day we had a record nine eggs and then since that day we've had like three five and just three yesterday so i'm thinking that the uh that the perusing of the grass may give them the energy that they need to lay more eggs so we're going to see if that theory holds true i don't know i just don't know but we're going to find out my goodness, it's a crowathon. All right, any varmints in here that I need to be aware of before I step in? I'm always worried that there's going to be something in here waiting on me. Oh, it's going to be a water jockey day. Hooray. I get to get water for everyone. How are you doing up here, mean Mr. Mustard? Yeah, I see you. I know. I know. Much to your dismay, you've been banished. From Quailville. Much to your dismay, the banishment has happened. So, wow, look at all of the superstars on the nests. I tell you what, I think we might have a big egg day. I hope. I certainly hope we have a big egg day. That would be wonderful. Super duper wonderful. Hmm. Wow, that was incredibly loud. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your contribution to this morning's video. I really appreciate it. You're so handsome. You're such a handsome rooster. A big boy. You're a big boy. Yes, you are. Look at that. Ever seen a finer rooster? Anyone? We need rooster pictures. We need pictures of roosters. Hmm. I, I love him. What are you doing, brother? Well, you, don't, you don't harass the ladies on the nest now. You just don't do it. There's Gwen. Little Gwendolyn. She has feathered feet, too. You can see him there. Not not nearly like the Favrils, but she's got some feathers. Can't figure out what kind of chicken she is. Thinking a Brahma mix of some sort, maybe. I don't know. 
her and Oswald. Ozzy Two Toes has feathered feet too. So, and this is Wi-Fi. I usually don't see Wi-Fi. Hmm, there's Fifi. That's Fifi, and Fiddle, and Faddle, and Falco, and Lateralis. Falco the Condor, which we know very well. Yeah, and Oswald's out there singing it to the singing it to the skies. Say it loud, say it proud, brother. So today's plans are uh, pretty uh, pretty minimal. We we don't have a lot of plans for today. Um, keep an eye on my mother, which is always always the plan for the day. We uh, we are full time caregiver, so that's always the plan. Not many orders coming in these days, but that's okay. <sighs> Not really, but it, <laughs> it, it ebbs and flows. And with the economy where it is, you can't really, can't really do a whole lot, you know? Everything we, uh, everything we offer is a want and not a need, so you'll have that. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, my gracious, mean Mr. Mustard is so sad. Yeah, that's him peep, peep, peeping up there. I don't know if he, he'll, yeah, he's up there being a baby because he can't control himself and not pick feathers out of his brother quails. Goodness, Falco. See, this is what Falco does. See how she's panting? This is very mild compared to most of the time. Oh, and Chip makes an appearance. Chippy Dippy. What's going on, Chippy Dippy? Hmm. <laughs> They're so cool. But this is... This is this is not Falco in panic mode just quite yet. Well, Gwen, I think you'll be all right. Hey, girl, what's going on? This is Fifi. Fifi, Fifi with the crazy comb. The here, laddie. She. Well, good. Falco. There's some chicken on chicken violence going on here, I do believe. What are you doing, girl? <laughs> What is going on? I've not seen them do this. This is different. I don't know if Falco is wanting that nest or... I don't know what's going on there. That's weird. Gracious. Hmm. Well, I know that Laddie was in that nest last night when I came down to close up shop and put everyone to bed and do my head count. I know that she was in that nest then. I don't know if she's moved. She may not have moved since last night. But Falco is wanting that, oh gracious sakes, is wanting that nest, I do believe. But uh, Laddie is not, she's not giving it up. You're sorry, Falky Balky. Sorry, big girl. She's just going to have to suck it up. We've got lots of flittering and fl flipping going on over here. They're really cute, but I just don't know what to do with them. I don't know. Because there's no females. I'm, I'm convinced there's no females. So, hmm. I don't know. I might have to consult my, my quail source and see if I can get some females. See if she's ha hatching anymore. I just might have to do that. But again, what if I get more males? I know I've, I've joined these Facebook groups for quails, backyard quails, and stuff like that. And a lot of the a lot of people talk about calling them, and I just don't want to do that. I mean, it, I I feel like it would be a waste. I would rather just let them go. They're indigenous. Well, they're not indigenous to this area. Quails are regular. Like we have bobwhite quails and that kind of stuff. These little babies are not indigenous to this area, I don't think. But I, um, I would rather just let them go than kill them. I mean, because there's there's it's such a small bird. There's no meat there. They're like little sparrows. Like there's there's nothing there. So I don't see the point in killing them. 
um, I would give them away or, you know, something. I wouldn't, I don't know, I wouldn't call them, I don't think. I don't think I would do that, but I know a lot of people do. And that's fine. See, this is Mean Mr. Mustard's life. Just pecking against the... <laughs> I feel bad, but, you know. But see, look, their little backs are getting better. See how the feathers are coming back? There's no more brown quail skin showing. So, Mean Mr. Mustard was the culprit. He was the problem. So, now we're, we have peace in, the, in Quailville. I don't know. All right, guys, thank you very much to our 163 subscribers. I really, really, really appreciate it. We lost one, and then we gained one. Of course, the ghost, you know, unsubscribed, no clue why. It's just a mystery to me. I don't understand it, but, you know, whatever. Um, so, yeah, um, thank you very much, the best friends of Friends of the Feather, the 163. And uh, please do subscribe if you haven't done so already. Like it, the video would be very helpful. Comment. Let me know where you're from, what you're doing. Do you have chickens? Do you like chickens? Do you want a male quail? <laughs> I'll put it in an envelope and send it to you. <laughs> no, I would not do that. Get your fingers off the phone, all those of you that are getting ready to call the ASPCA. I would not mail a quail. I would not mail a male quail. Yes, I would not do that. Not in an envelope, no. I, I would mail them maybe, like, live animal style. I don't know how to do that, but I might do it. I don't know. Anyway, everyone have a great day. We'll see you later.